was the pond here when you first built the house? No, I made the clearing. I brought in a big D8 and an excavator and uh, dug the pond. It's about 200 feet long and 50 or 60 feet wide. I really wanted to be able to attract wildlife, so I've been able to uh, have wild birds fly in throughout the year, wild ducks, herons, egrets, kingfishers. Mm -hmm. Kingfisher comes every day. When I made the clearing, I had a mobile dimension mill come in and sawed up the trees that were here and into boards and built the buildings. So these are redwood trees. Well, you certainly have created a very beautiful environment for your studio. And this is the tree that I carve out of, and uh, it'll take another 100 to 150 years for it to be big enough to carve from, but this will be a, this will be a tree that stays. Not far to the studio. It's a two-hour trip down to the beach. I'll take an extra chainsaw. This is no ordinary truck, <laughs> wouldn't you say? I mean, it's very specialized. You've got a lot going yeah, on here. Yeah, it's specialized. This, this was all specially made up to be able to pick up about 3,000 pound pieces of wood. Wow. And also it's a, a ton and a half. It's got a lot of heavy duty uh, brakes and suspension. What's this equipment hanging up here? That's the electric winch. Uh -huh. So that's so that I can pick up these pieces of wood. What's you doing there? Letting air out? I'm letting air out of tires. If you let it down to 20 pounds from 40, the, the tire flattens out so that the vehicle floats better so that uh, you have you uh, can drive on the beach better and not get stuck. So this is a diesel truck? So what? A diesel, diesel oh, truck? Yeah, yeah, this is a diesel truck. And uh, when I used to have a gasoline truck, when you drive out on the beach, uh, it heats up after a short while, so you can only go so far, even with these wide tires, then you have to let it cool down. So the ocean here is like knocking in all these pieces of wood from the storms, or how does it all work? Well, uh, when we get floods, uh -huh. the river uh, rises and washes it out the ocean, and the storms uh, wash the logs and root sections back up onto the beach. Uh -huh. And the river is just four miles down south from here. Uh -huh. The spot bay. Um, not all of it has bark on. A lot of it looks just like all the rest of the wood that's been washed around in the ocean. Lost its bark and weathered some. It took me a lot of years to learn to identify bay. And uh, there have been times early on when I'd bring the wrong kind of wood home. So it ended up being firewood. The surface of the wood, you can see kind of a hole like texture. Yeah. It, that means it's oak. This, this seems like a lot of wood here. Yeah, but there's none of what I'm looking for in it. So the very little myrtle wood yeah, very in little a big batch wood. of wood. Yeah. Probably less than one tenth of one percent is myrtle wood. Wow. It feels bay, but it's too, it's got, it's not healthy enough and it's too thin. Nope. Look like it. I have better luck on the beach where the uh, sand covers and uncovers, and then you get new wood wood that's been there a long time, but you get new wood showing. And this doesn't. You have to have a flood here to get new wood. There's no bark on this, so you can't tell what it is. I can tell that it's a hardwood <laughs> by the uh, way that it cuts. So I know to check it out. Uh, can you smell it as being? And um... then when I chop it. I can smell that it's bay. Yeah. I'm digging to create a place to uh, put the chains. Yeah. So we can lift this thing.
I have to hook up my winch cables to the battery so I can power the winch. Yeah, I might be able to make a base with that. Good. We'll see. I can't tell, you know. Mm -hmm. Takes you have to think about it for a long time. We'll see. Is that a piece of bay? I think it's a bay. Sometimes you can't tell by the smell, and there's no bark, but the grain, the fibers look right, and the colors right. How heavy do you think it is? Uh, Probably only a couple hundred pounds. Yeah. Ah, the bounty from the beach. It's amazing how easily you can move a piece of that heavy. A thousand pounds or so. Doesn't it, that's quite a bit of burl. It doesn't have a it doesn't have any rod at all. No rod, yeah. I think that it's a very nice piece of wood. It's bigger than anything else you've got here really right now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, bigger than anything else I have right now. I've used all the big pieces. <laughs> Probably a table, yeah, since that's what I'm pretty excited about right now. Yeah. That changes from <laughs> the month to month, but yeah, right now I'm into tables. <laughs>